Hey everyone, welcome back to the Prime 5, the five biggest Nintendo news stories in the last 24 hours. And this is going to be a doozy because included in this episode is an exclusive piece of news about a brand new remastered game coming from Nintendo to Nintendo Switch. Nobody knows about this really except me, so I guess I get to be the source on something. We'll dive into that later. We also have information potentially on a new Zelda edition Switch at some point next year. Pokemon Violet and Scarlet are back in the news as well, along with, I think, Mario plus Rabbids Parks of Hope. We got a really packed show, folks, so without further ado, let's get into the news. I want to thank you guys all for being here. I would appreciate it if you would drop a like and subscribe to the video. And you know what? Let's get into our first story. And it deals with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet because according to the official Twitter accounts from Pokemon, we are getting a brand new trailer tomorrow morning. The trailer is dropping at 8 a.m. Central Time, and I obviously can't wait. We will definitely cover this trailer, especially any of the new stuff from it in tomorrow's uh, Prime 5. I know the entire game is leaked at this point, but we're staying away from the leaks and sticking with the official media here so i'm really excited for this one now our next story deals with sparks of hope because ubisoft is having a ubisoft forward this saturday and sparks of hope is one of the featured games in fact they have three featured franchises and more so the forward begins at 2 p.m central time on september 10th it's going to feature sparks of hope skull and bones and information on the future of Assassin's Creed, which, you know, there's some leaks and rumors out there about an Assassin's Creed Infinity game. There will be updates to current games as well, like Brawlhalla, For Honor, The Crew 2, Anno 1880, and more. This looks like a really exciting event. I won't be covering it live, unfortunately. My youngest son is having his birthday party with friends, but I will definitely be going over all the biggest details from that in the Prime 5 on the following Monday. Next up, we have an update on some rumors that have existed for a while, but now Emily Rogers is just reminding the world that, hey, this stuff is still happening and I'm the original source. And we're talking about a brand new Fire Emblem game in particular, but also Metroid Prime HD. So she reaffirms current rumors about Metroid Prime HD and a brand new Fire Emblem game. She also notes that, yes, a remastered Fire Emblem game is also in the works. She also mentioned to the world that she was the first one to talk about this stuff before any other insider, so no one should necessarily get credit for this beyond her. And she also reminds everyone that no, she is not sure what's happening in this month's Nintendo Direct, obviously beyond it existing. So yeah, good on her. Uh, I'm glad that she's just reaffirming because other people are you know, trying to take credit for these rumors when she's the one that was the originating source. This isn't any shade thrown at other people such as, say, Jeff Grubb, who's been really on the Metroid Prime remaster train. But yes, she wants to make sure people realize I was the first one to say this. When this happens, make sure I get my credit. I understand that because it can be frustrating when other people get credit for something you were the original source on. Speaking of sources, this is going to be a little bit of a difficult one for me because I am putting myself out there. I have a source who's going to remain anonymous just because that's the way that they want to be. They want to be anonymous. I have a really good idea how they got their hands on this information. And as somebody who is pretty reliable, however, this is not somebody who you would consider to be a regular leaker. So keep that in mind. This person has shared with me that I should be extremely bullish on F zero GX, the GameCube F zero game coming to Nintendo switch and obviously coming in a re mastered form. They know that they don't know anything about the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD or any of that kind of stuff, but this is one particular game that they have found out about and are very certain is happening at the big Nintendo. So this is just to keep in mind, I know it's my reputation, I throw it out there to, to do this. I still consider this to be a rumor, even from my side of things, because I haven't seen the, the, the remaster stuff myself, but I'm very, very confident in who this person is. Maybe someday they'll choose to want to attach themselves to the story. But for now, F0GX, we all should be extremely excited for a possible remaster coming to Nintendo Switch. Now, I don't have any other details, such as when it's going to be unveiled, when it's going to come out, just that it is happening. 
So let's just keep that in the back of our minds as we get more Nintendo news over the next year. And last up, our final story comes to us courtesy of Mike Odyssey, who checked the Breath of the Wild 2 patents we covered back in December and found a peculiar update to those patents. And that update is, well, the Nintendo Switch schematics. Now, why does this matter? Because whenever Nintendo Switch schematics have appeared in a patent that's about gameplay for a game, we've gotten a special edition, believe it or not. Now, the patents don't make any reference to the special edition or to the schematics, but Animal Crossing New Horizons had it in theirs. Uh, we saw it with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as well. We're seeing it now with Breath of the Wild 2. We saw it with Splatoon 3. And it's notable that other games that didn't get special editions often don't have the schematics in their patents. So... I don't know. It's sort of a guess at a correlation that we can actually check and verify across multiple games. Of course, I haven't checked every single game Nintendo has released and every single patent because you know what? It would end up taking me years to dig through all the patents. But I did take a you know a, a basically a selection of about 10 games and went through different patents. And the ones that did have special editions all had the schematic, and the ones that didn't didn't have the schematic. But that's not obviously a definitive way to look at this. There are probably other Nintendo games that maybe had the schematic but didn't get a special edition. I'm just throwing this out there because it's at least noteworthy that Mike Odyssey has recognized a potential pattern. And I obviously really want a special edition Legend of Zelda Switch. All right, folks. I think that's it. Tried to get everything in. Tried to get it condensed. That's a lot of really, really, really big news. Really rapid fire, really fast. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day. This is Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime. You just got done watching Prime 5. Hope you decide to subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you in the next video.